what up everybody this is Filipino reefer Benny just wanted to share with you guys that my 40 gallon innovative marine all-in-one tank has reached a one-year mark so what are we gonna do today today we're gonna go over we're going over with everything that I have in terms of this uh, reefing box journey so let's start with the let's start with the um, livestock so as you could see I only have a few fishes in here I have the sailfin I have sailfin tang I have the pair of clownfish some are roaming around that box I have a six line ras and hiding somewhere I have uh, right there if you could see her that's my Midas Blenny right there so as far as fishes guys I only have I only have about five fishes in the tank a little too much but it's what I like so say lovey um, as far as coral why some of you guys probably remember what I had before and some of you guys don't which is all good so i'm here to kind of refresh you guys of what's going on back there on the wall i have the cypastrias two different types i have that for over a year i have that chalice over there for over a year i also have the hammer and the frog spawn for a year let's see if i could do this that Rainbow hammer, branching hammer, that's over a year. Black widow, about almost to a year. GSP back there is definitely a year. That uh, sunkist bounce mushroom, definitely a year. Um, if we kind of zoom in somewhere back there, there's a baby hiding behind the mama. I also have the jawbreaker which also has Palma jawbreaker which also has a baby summer back there and let's see if we can find it that one right there is the baby on that little frag plug with little one two three four five um, bounce whatever sun case so I do have two a pair a mama and the baby mushroom and a mama and baby mushroom right there that is so called a rainbow hammer that I won from a raffle on Instagram um, I used to have one now when I got it it was a frag of three heads four heads I'm sorry um, it grew I fragged it sold it now I fragged this one again and I have a pair of heads down below. So that is my so called rainbow hammer, rainbow gold hammer um, that I have for a year. The black widow anemone is not, I wouldn't say it's more than a year. I would say close than a year. The, um, this is the uh, Space Invader Pectinia that I got on Reefapalooza. I would say maybe close to a year mark. <sighs> Let's go back up here. That would be a green stem uh, Duncan. Has been stung by the Black Widow. So as you see, uh, definitely have a lots of uh, um, whatever. It's not doing, it's not happy. So it is what it is. Um, back there are a couple of sticks that I got um, probably from Top Shelf Aquatic and uh, I got them when it was one frag one piece of frag kind of like that like the Walt Disney and now it actually those two back there have produces and had grown so I'm gonna have to start trimming them shortly and probably just keep a nugget like that and you know let it grow again um, by the way, that is my two Walt Disney. The one on the far left, if you see, is uh, not as thick as that. I'm not sure why, but this one I got from Top Shelf Aquatic. 
This one is the Garf Bonsai. I got that from Top Shelf Aquatic. These two back here got it from Top Shelf Aquatic. This one I got it from a local reef store, a uh, local reefer in the neighborhood. Um, that one is a uh, CB Gold jaw dropper, which I got on uh, I got at Top Shelf Aquatic. Okay, so as you can see, I have about a few SPS um, on the rock, and got a couple on and a few on the uh, on the back wall. That also, I believe, is another type of um, cypastria back here. I'm not sure what the name is. Uh, that's some zoas that I got somewhere. Um, I'm not sure where it is. I don't remember. But that one is a sunburst chalice that I got from Street Reefer. So thank you. Uh, let's see what else I got down here. I got here a couple of bunch of zoas. I have a dragon soul. On the front, I have a New York Nick on the middle left, and um, I would say a brown stem, white tip, green mouth, torch in the back. But um, depending on the light, that can also show gold. So, but I'm pretty happy with them torches, um, especially this one right here. Depending on how the lighting shines, that is the uh, Wild Holy Grail torch which I really, really love. Uh, and again, that one is a piece of the rainbow hammer that I fragged. That is a candy cane, a uh, neon green candy cane. Back there is actually a frag of that one. Um, and here are different types of acans that I, I collected over the few months. And when I got them, it was one head just like the candy cane. And as you see, they have grown several heads now. So that's pretty much what I I got going on as far as livestock. A um, couple of more zoas on the rock, scattered zoas, which I got to figure out how to get rid of them because they are just all over the place. I think they are the jumping zoas, so I'm not sure. Did they jump from there to there? I don't know. Then back here I have my lonely Warlove Fabia, which has been sitting there for quite some time. It used to be a small piece, just like that snail. Now it actually grown big and round. So, as far as collection wise, guys, um, I I used to have a bigger tank. Now I have a smaller tank, so I don't have much. But as you see, uh, this box is 24 by 24 by 24. It's a cube. Um, this is what I have going on inside that box in terms of livestock. So from top to bottom, going back, coral wise, livestock wise, that's pretty much what I have. Uh, nothing crazy, nothing fancy, but I like it. I love it. And it makes, it makes it colorful. So I just got to wait for some more time to pass by that way um, that way we can get this tank fully packed at the moment they're not as um, not that packed yet so I would say another year this torch this hammer this octa spawn all things will be grown and I need to start fragging them eventually so as far as livestock that's what I got a year or close and uh, they're pretty, pretty uh, cool. Now, as far as equipment, guys, this is what I have going on. Um, I have this made-up canopy. Uh, it's a plastic board um, canopy that I got, I got on Amazon. Um, I have this two AliExpress LED light. One is regular and one is custom-made. That bar right there is custom-made. So that's the two lights that I'm using for the tank. Um, back there, let me see if I can take this lens out. Back there, we're going to go through the CO2 scrubber for the protein scrimmer, um, skimmer. sorry. And underneath that CO2 scrubber where the chamber is, that's where I have my UV sterilizer. So I have the overflow coming up, coming down from that side. 
down into the UV sterilizer, into the protein skimmer, and into the main um, chamber, which is the middle one, where you could slightly see the auto top off. Uh, there is two um, hoses, I would say, that I do drip with. I have my uh, gravity drip cock washer right there and pretty much it drips right there um, with a valve that I set it up on so it chips constantly as you see it's going to drip down and then right over there is my drip for the uh, for the alkalinity so I have my auto top off no I'm sorry I have my um, dosing pump at the bottom which I'll show you guys in a minute so that's for the cock washer that's for the uh, dosing that's the um, auto top off that's for this is for the water that's for the Russell um, ATO protein skimmer CO2 scrubber UV sterilizer I got nothing going on here um, this black long piece is a it's a it's a heater that goes into the back where the return pump is. Um, that right there is the connection for the chiller that I have in my tank. And one of this hose right here is for my pH meter. Sorry. That's for the pH meter right there that goes down in a tank. That's the controller for the, that's the controller, the white one next to the, American Marine Pinpoint pH monitor is the controller for the um, single bar AliExpress LED light. Um, and I have a Nero 5 there. I have a Nero 5 there, which you guys will see. I have a Nero 5 there and another Nero 5 there, which I am running about 35% to 37%, both of them as a mother child. Um, nothing else going on over here. I do have a bag of charcoal in there. I ordered an Aquamax HOV um, media reactor, so I will be hanging it in this area right here. Just wanted to share with you guys. So, very simple setup, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Everything is simplified. So, if we kind of go back here, that is by the way my auto feeder which feeds three times a day. So as you see, as I mentioned before, you guys do see my uh, charcoal, bag of charcoal right there, my heater right there, that's the uh, auto top off, cock washer and the alkalinity, uh, alkalinity hose for the uh, dosing. And that's the wire. This wire right here is for my cock gravity drip cock washer. So I have not mu nothing much going on in here. I do have filter pads here and also on the other end. Um, here I just have the filter pad in inside a, uh, also inside here I have the intact media basket, which down below I have a Kato here. And this is the light, the free germ light that I have for the Kato. So again, this guys is what I have been running for over a year. Uh, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Uh, my wiring management, it's a bit a little tidy, but I can make it nicer, nicer if I wanted to. So I will fix that later on. So nothing really crazy back there. And this is the side view of the tank. I have a side view of the tank. Right there. I do have a space in between the back wall and the rock so that the tank can go in circles if he wanted to or any fish can go in circles if he wanted to so that's what my tank looked like on the left side going again on the front this is what we got going on all right that's what we got going on so again guys it's a simple setup nothing crazy nothing fancy um everything is fully automated here i don't really do much um, in in this tank anymore um, as far as equipment wise I do have the APS stand down below <coughs> let's see let's open it let's see if I can just zoom out open it open it 
All right, voila, guys. So a little messy. I, I gotta retie it again because I made some changes here. Um, this white cable is my wise camera, so I can view what's going on in here. Uh, if there's a little action going on with the two clowns, I can see it. And that's it. So I gotta redo the wiring inside here. It's a little messy, but it's as neat as possible. That's what I'm talking about. I got my j bow dosing pump right there. I only have the alkalinity connected. This is an empty one and that is full brand new. Um, that's my light. Just look at night. What I use to glue the corals or when I want to refix the corals. And that's what I use to relocate the corals. That's what I use to uh, glue it with. Back there I have some garlic, um, salcom, whatever medication for the fish. Um, I have my salinity checker down below. In here, um, wait, hold on. I got a surge protector there in the center with some power smart plugs. And I have the AC, um, the chiller, the J JBJ Artica uh, chiller. And here over here is my 5.5 reservoir. ATO, water, whatever you may call it. So I do have another surge protector down there. So that's pretty much a simple setup, guys. I want to share with you what I have going on in the tank. So I'm going to go ahead and close it now. So nothing simple, uh, nothing f fancy, nothing crazy. Um, it does the job. It does the job. So see blue with all the blue as you can be and you can see but behind the blue you have blue and violet as well alright guys so this is pretty much what I got going on in my 40 gallon all in one tank again guys this is a year today so I just want to share with you what I have as far as livestock as far as equipment and as far as the rock it's been there for a year I forgot to mention about my z pulsing Xenia, which is really annoying. Every time I trim it, it goes, it goes, it grows back like crazy. So I think I have mentioned all of my corals in the tank. Um, pardon the noise. So that's what I have from corals to fishes to equipment. One year mark today. Um, and that's pretty much all I got going on. Simple as possible. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this uh, quick video of my one year anniversary of my tank. Um, I got really not much going on here. Everything is fully automated. Everything is simple. I got pellets, by the way, at the feeder and some flakes. Flakes that has a garlic flavor in it already so I do have the UV I do have a garlic um, liquid that I use to feed the fish just in case they feel a little ill but that's that's what I got going on here um, I'm barely home I don't do much a lot of testing um, once I see a coral is not doing all right I don't worry about it if it's all corals not doing all right I do a lot of water change my parameters, by the way, alkalinity is between 8.5 to 9. Salinity is always 1.025. pH goes up and down. As you see, it's eight between 8.5 to 8.6. Temperature, I have it at 78. Depends on the room temperature. It could be 77 or 79. So I do have that range. I you know two degree range that I can play with so that the corals are okay um, and and that's it guys so anyways I hope you like this quick one year video of my 40 gallon innovated marine tank um, if you like it please click the thumbs up if you don't it's okay I get it I dig it please comment down below and let me know what I could do better until then I wish you happy reefing have a great one now. Cheers.